Well, Kent Raisler here with Robo Rock Picker. We're going to be reclaiming this pile here. This pile I've uh, picked uh, probably over the last, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, 10 years or so that we've been here on this farm. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of overgrowth and so forth on it. But, uh, but we're going to be uh, uh, picking it up. I've started to lay a nice pile here. We are hauling rocks off with the loader too. So I'll load the loader. And, uh, and then I'll continue on picking up the clean rocks. The main advantage of a robo is you can do stuff like this. You would never do this type of work with a rock bucket. You can gouge into the pile. I can get this whole basket basically full, three quarters full at least, of rocks. One basket of rocks completely full is a ton of rocks. That's 2,132 pounds. I took it down to the feed mill there and I weighed it. So uh, that's about all a pickup wants to haul when you dump it in the back. The advantage is, is that all this little stuff goes away. Um, all the sticks, all the all the dirt and everything else. As you can see, I'm kind of elevated right here and I'm on black dirt. And I've got probably uh, 30, 30 ton of dirt underneath me that we already pulled out of this pile and we just started. So that means that I took 30 ton of dirt off my farm field and I threw it in that pile that did me absolutely no good. And I can't imagine how much nitrogen and potash and phosphorus is in this pile. I mean, just take a good look at that pile, and uh, and she's uh, you know completely full of dirt. So uh, as a farmer, we like to we like to make sure that our fertilizer stays on our field, not in our rock piles. Now with Robo, Robo fits on any skid loader. It has quick catch plate, hooks up to any standard hydraulic uh, fitting. The barrel is 36 inches in diameter, so you can fit up to a 36 inch rock in, into the cage. It's about four foot long. The only real uh, maintenance points is it's got a chain along with a hydraulic motor. We want that chain fiddle string tight. There are two grease circs back on the uh, on the orbit motor and we do want the, the grease circs uh, you to put a couple pumps of grease in there every once in a while. I got on, an, on this Terex track machine just to show you that it'll take the biggest machine into the industry. We've got them on a lot of smaller machines. The T200 Bobcats, a lot of guys got those. Uh, the uh, 1845 uh, case skid loaders, a lot of guys got those that we got robos running on. We got a lot of robos out into the field now working. And uh, so we've worked out all the, the bugs out of it. It's, it's pretty bulletproof. Robo should last the average farmer a lifetime.